Hello everybody, my name is Kai Wehner and I work as technology evangelist for Confluent. Today I want to demo you how to build highly scalable streaming microservices with Kafka Streams. For that we will leverage both Apache Kafka and Apache Mesos. This session is really about a live demo. Let's first introduce it. It is a live demo about airline flight delay prediction. This is just one example of how you can build mission critical scalable microservices with Kafka streams. In this case, we use a machine learning example where we want to do some predictions. So it's more important to understand the technologies here to build this microservice instead of the use case itself. And I have other videos which go more into detail about the machine learning part. So here we will use DCOS as Apache Mesos operating system and we will use Kafka Brokers as messaging infrastructure and Kafka Streams to build microservices on top of Apache Kafka. For the machine learning part, we use an analytic model built with H2O.ai. This is in the end the setup we want to use. And before I go into the live demo, let's take a look a little bit at the concepts and architecture. Here we see the architecture on Apache Mesos or DCOS. In the middle, you see the leaders of the Mesos master quorum. Um, they use Zookeeper under the hood and they have one leader and some standby nodes. This is also the setup I have used on AWS. And now important on the left side, you just see the frameworks which you can use on Mesos. In our case, we use Marathon as container orchestration tool. On the right side, you see the technologies we actually use them. We use one executor task for using Kafka brokers and another one for deploying our Kafka streams application or microservice and scale it out on top of Apache Mesos. Important to note, of course, you can combine this with other frameworks here. So, for example, you could also deploy the Kafka broker on Marathon and run Kafka streams, for example, on Kubernetes, which is in the meantime also supported by Mesos and DCOS. So this is the high level architecture. And what we want to deploy is a Kafka Streams microservice. This is a plain Java application. It's just one char file. And here you see the stream process. It does some things like filtering and also applying an analytic model. We have other videos where you can see that in much more detail. So very short overview about the Kafka Streams application. We will inside that class, um, which is a main class, one char file. We will create our H2O model, which we use for the predictions. Then we configure the Kafka Streams application in a few lines. So we give it a name. We say what's the local host or what's the URL for the broker. In our case, we leverage the Mesos VIP connection for Kafka so that you don't have to change this every time your IPs on the Mesos cluster change. And then in the end, we build our stream processing. So here we apply the analytic model to our input events. In this case, we get airline information as input in real time and we apply our analytic model to do a prediction if a flight is affected and probably delayed or not. That's the result which we send to the next event. And that's our mission critical scalable Kafka Streams microservice. We then start the Kafka Streams app and that's more or less it, what we do in this application. I run DCOS on AWS. So what I leverage is the DCOS CloudFormation script from Mesos. I run it here um, with a single Mesos instance and three Kafka brokers. This is more or less the pretty simple setup, which you can click through in a few minutes and start your Mesos cluster. After the cluster is running, you have to start Kafka Brokers first. This is also very easy. You have a catalog of different options, including many different Kafka and Confluent options. So here you can use things like the brokers, but also Confluent add-ons like the open source REST proxy or the schema registry or Confluent's control center for end-to-end -end stream monitoring. You can all of these can be started within one or two clicks and it's literally minutes to start this. It's pretty easy. You go to deploy and if you want, you can do much more advanced configurations. I just did all the defaults. And then on the right side here, you see I have my services started. Here you see the manager of Mesos and also the three brokers, which I have used here for failover and replication. Here you can also see I use the command line interface of DCOS. This also has very good Kafka integration. So I can leverage all the different things for Apache Kafka from the Mesos command line to script all of that.
One very important feature here is that while Mesos has set up the different Kafka brokers, you also see at the bottom the VIP URL. You can always use this one and it's always the same, even if the other IP addresses and URLs changes. So this is pretty easy to configure and set up and you don't have to think too much about the configuration under the hood. And this is also the VIP URL which I use in my Kafka Streams applications in a minute. And therefore I do not have to um, think much about the configuration by myself that's all handled by DCOS even if there is some failure and restarting of brokers on other machines. Under the hood Apache Mesos uses Zookeeper that's also true for Apache Kafka and therefore here in this screenshot you see how um, the confluent Kafka is also added to Zookeeper and here you see configuration of the topics which I already created here on the screenshot and you see the broker information and all these things which you see on a typical Zookeeper instance which runs Kafka Brokers. In addition to Kafka Brokers, we also need a Kafka client on DCOS. This is used to send messages to the Kafka Broker or to the Kafka Streams application and also then to receive messages, like in our case, our predictions about flight delays. Here you see the very simple Docker file at the bottom. So it's simply just um, a plain Docker file using Java and uh, Kafka to send and produce and consume messages. One thing which is not so nice about Mesosphere today is that it has a very old version of the Kafka client, which uses Kafka 0.9, which is pretty old already. And it actually also does not work well with the current release of DCOS. And therefore I built my own Docker image of that, where I simply replaced the version to use the most recent version, which is 0.11 so that I can um, send messages to the Kafka cluster on Mesos. And here now we have our Kafka Streams microservice. You also see the URLs um, where you can use that by your own if you want. In the end, on the right side, you see my machine learning project where I built different Kafka Streams application using H2O, Deep Learning 4J or TensorFlow. And here in this case, on the left side, you see my Docker image, which leverages just one of these microservices, which uses Kafka Streams in combination with H2O and the flight prediction example. This is again a very simple Docker image. And at the bottom here, you see I also on my Mesos clusters or my Kafka brokers on the Mesos cluster, I start some topics, I create them here so that I can use my demo afterwards. That's more or less the setup we have. And with that, then we can run a Kafka Streams microservice on DCOS. It's again, very easy to do via UI or scripting. We just configure the service ID and the container image, which you just saw, and also the memory and CPU. In this case, we use um, the Docker engine, but you could also use the Mesos runtime for the container runtime. This is whatever you prefer. Here now you see the application starting. This is a plain old Java application. Kafka Streams is pretty simple to run everywhere. In this case, on Mesos using um, Marathon, but as I said, you can also use things like Kubernetes on Mesos, for example. And here now you see um, that I also scaled this up. Um, so you can easily scale Kafka Streams on Mesos by simply um, starting new instances or also in case of failure, it's restarting other inst instances. Kafka Streams leverages Kafka under the hood with all its topic management and failover scalability. So you don't have to worry much about that. And automatically Kafka Streams um, um, shares the different input messages to the different instances of Kafka Streams. So the scales up and down automatically, you don't have to manage that. So here now we see in the live demo the Mesos dashboard, which I use. Again, I run it on AWS. And here now let's go to the services. I have already installed Confluent Kafka Brokers and also REST Proxy. So here you see it has the controller of Mesos and the three brokers which we wanna use. So this is already set up and starting. Under the hood, you also see the Zookeeper part. Mesos uses the tool Exhibitor to manage and monitor Zookeeper instances. And here you see um, it also created DCOS service Confluent Kafka. This is where my Kafka brokers are managed on Zookeeper. You see the three brokers here. You also see the topics which I created and all the other things which are used on Zookeeper for Kafka. So let's go back to DCOS. 
And now what we want to actually do, we want to deploy our Kafka Streams application here. So what I'm doing here is I create a new service here. I use a single container in this case, pretty simple hello world example. I first deploy just one instance of the microservice. I give here the link to my Docker Hub image. I say let's use two CPUs here and one gigabyte of RAM. And that's it more or less. In this case, we use the default Docker engine as container in time. We review this and run it then. So now the Kafka Streams application is running. This takes a few seconds. It's just a small um, Java application which starts here. And after it is running, we can go on to the live demo of the Kafka Streams application. So here you see it's already started and we can already um, see that everything is okay. I already had some other instances before, but we just have one active instance right now at the moment. Let's now go um, to the setup. Here we already have um, our um, terminal started. So here you see I already created the topic using the DCOS Kafka command line interface. And now what we do first, we start a Kafka consumer. This is listening to the airline output topic. So this is waiting for predictions from the Kafka Streams application. And here we see we also leverage the VIP connection URL from Mesos. So this is the URL we can always use no matter um, if some Kafka brokers change its internal IPs and so on. Okay, let's start it here. Takes a few seconds and now it's already listening. There is no message produced right now. So that's what we do next. On the right side, we produce new messages. So here you see a short script on my command line so that it creates a new message with, with flight information all the time. It sends it to a Kafka console um, producer. And in this case, we send it to the airline input topic. This is what the Kafka Streams application is listening to and to do predictions on new events in real time. And as soon as we create the script to send new messages, you can see on the left side the predictions from the output topic. So in the background, Kafka Streams running on DCOS is doing predictions in real time for every new message. So this is a pretty powerful example of how to use machine learning or other analytic models in real time deployed to a scalable mission critical Kafka Streams application. So that's already pretty nice. But now let's go back to DCOS to scale this up because this is of course also one of the features. So what we can do here now, we go to our service. This is our Meso service and now we can scale that. So here instead of one instance, we can now scale to five for example. And of course you can also leverage Meso's auto scaling features here so that you for example scale up or down depending on CPU resources. Or of course if one service fails, you re can you restart a new one. Here we already see that um, it's running on five instances now. This does not change anything from the um, producer perspective. It still sends its messages to a Kafka topic and scales it up and down via Kafka partitions. And every single consumer um, of the consumer group of Kafka Streams application instances um, consumes the messages and um, produces the outputs here. So let's verify that it's really using all five Kafka Streams instances here. We go to Kafka Streams. We already see five instances are running and now we can use any of them um, to analyze the logs here. So here we see at the logs that um, the output, which is in the end the um, Java logging interface, here you see the predictions. This is one log input for every new message. And we really see this for every of the Kafka Streams instances. So you see this was one of the newly created. Let's go to the first one, which we started first. And here, if we go to our logs, we will also see that this one is produce, per producing um, input messages and then doing flight predictions. By default, Apache Kafka uses um, a round robin partitioner. So in our case, in the message, the key is null. And therefore, it uses the messages and scales them to the different Kafka Streams instances via round robin. It's really important to understand that Kafka Streams handles all the scale, all the failover, and all of that under the hood. You don't have to care about that. Even if, I'm, if a Kafka Streams application goes down or if you scale up or down dynamically, this is all handled by Kafka Streams and you can leverage that to get your final result versus the predictions here. 
Though this is the demo which I had, let's now get to the key takeaways. Apache Kafka ecosystem on DCOS is very well fit for highly scalable fault-tolerant microservices. Mesos can be used for all the scalability, for failover, auto-scaling, and um, all the simple usage of starting Kafka brokers and Steam streams instances. The ecosystem includes also the confluent open source components like the REST proxy or the schema registry and also the commercial solutions like the control center for end-to-end -end stream monitoring. DCOS offers many Kafka features out of the box, so that makes it very simple to use these in conjunction with each other. For example, the very simple one-click provisioning as you have seen. And of course, you can do the same via scripting. Or the VIP connection so that you do not have to care about the IP addresses or URLs of the Kafka and Kafka streams instances. And finally, Kafka Streams microservices run and scale on DCOS via Marathon or, or Kubernetes or other technologies. So you can build your application as you want in your department or business line. You do not need another big data cluster for that. You can just use Kafka Streams. It's very small, simple Java files, scale them up and down via Kafka Streams. It's pretty simple to write and code and test, but still mission critical and scalable. And this was my overview about Apache Kafka and Confluent together with Apache Mesos to build highly scalable mission critical microservices. I hope you liked the sessions and please give also me feedback about all the things I do here and if you have any questions.